So for today, we're going to be talking about my guardians for this week's uh, Zerg Exotic Dare. If this is your first video, essentially what this is, is when Zerg comes in, uh, I make fashion around each of the armor sets that he comes in. Uh, usually I make new armor sets or I borrow from older armor sets that I've used before that I haven't showcased or anything like that. Uh, I'll get to why when we get to my hunter, but... Uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow. Also, I've noticed that a lot of people that come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and subscribe, it really does help the channel a lot. And if you guys don't like me, like, in a month, you can always unsubscribe. So let's get right into it. So this is my hunter. Uh, for the people who actually watch my content, uh, you guys will immediately recognize this look because this is a look that I made a while ago. And I'm showcasing, showcasing it here because it's definitely one of my favorite armor sets that I've ever done. Uh, if you guys are not, if you guys don't know, this is actually the set that I use on my um, six coyote. So it actually looks a lot better with the six coyote, but this also does look really cool because the uh, the blades in the back really are showcased a lot. But let's get right into it. Helmet is from Season of the Splicer. This is definitely one of my favorite helmets in the game. Uh, it's finicky though. I will tell you if you're trying to use this, um, it really is annoying to shader because actually I'll just show you. So one of the reasons why it's annoying is because it'll be darker than everything. So this is a great example. Like look how dark this is compared to everything else. Um, another great example, a shader that everyone uses as well. This one, super dark compared to like this. Um, it's very annoying <laughs> because like getting something to be that dark when you're trying to like customize everything is annoying so at this point like your best bet would be to like find something that's like almost like that like this is actually really cool so this is what i would do if i, would, I was rocking that shader so just be aware that the helmet is very annoying to deal with for the arms it's the arms uh simic uh iron simicky there we go this is from oh man i don't even remember when these were introduced um they're, they're an old one, though. They're very old. I don't remember. Actually, can you tell me where you're from? No, you just is Yeah, I don't. It's not from this season. It's from it's from old. It's like maybe season of the forge, season of the something. I don't know. Very old. Uh, one of my favorite arms from that whole set because it obviously has like a very samurai look, uh, very Eastern Asian, Japanese. Uh, and that's obviously what I'm going for. I'm obviously going for Eastern Asian J Japanese theme, uh, which with the chess piece, it's a uh, raid in flux this weekend. It's it's super cool. I actually really, really dig it. Uh, for the boots, we have the Forbidden Visage Strides. These are from uh, Season of the Hunt. You can still get these. These are in the store and these are definitely cool. I definitely like the whole set, but there's blue here, and there's a lot of blue in the armor set that you can't change colors, so just be aware of that. And last but not least, we have the Legatus Cloak, which this is a must-have cloak for hunters. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Unfortunately, you can't even get this anymore, which is unfortunate. This was from Season of the Chosen, Season Pass ornaments. So this is definitely one of my favorite looks for my hunter. Um, I will show you guys my six coyote look just to just to show you because that's actually what I rocked with it. It's just that I've been making new builds that I haven't had time to like make my build with it. I think it was this one. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do that. So I think it just looks a lot better with the six coyote just because uh, there's, not, there's not an immediate stop in the waist. Uh, so that's why I really, really, really love this. It's super cool. Um, the only annoying part would be like to find a really good shader with it and like, do this, I guess. Yeah, so let me know, hunters, what you guys think. Uh, I know people are gonna tell me I'm half assing this one. It's just that it's such a good, it's just such a good like combination of, of pieces that I just had to do it. Uh, because when I saw that it was Raiden Flux, I was like, I know, I already know what I want because this is a look that I do all the time. Uh, when I'm trying to do a an arc build with my super in mind or I'm trying to get bounties done this is the luck I go with so Titans you are up next this is the Titans uh, this is not that new uh, I've seen I've seen this look go around the the web a lot so it's 
it's definitely one one of the like first pieces that I made during season of the actually this season season of the lost immediately went with light kin gauntlets and the meridian constellation which is one of the reasons why I actually unlocked uh <clears throat> this ornament because it's not yeah you guys can see uh that's one of the reasons why i actually unlocked like and gauntlets immediately so i can combine it with the meridian constellation which i actually do like uh just be aware that if you're trying to combine it there are some shaders that will make it difficult uh and when i say difficult i mean like this like you will have red here and then black here so just be aware of that if you're like going for like a per particular look just be aware that the shaders will not or the shaders will make the fur not be the same, which is kind of annoying in my opinion. But you can definitely work around it. There's definitely some that looks really cool actually. There's some that uh will look good and some that just will not, unfortunately. So just be aware of that. This one looks really cool. This actually was almost the shader that I put on it. So for the helmet, we have the insurmountable skull fort with the ornament uh, electronic mind cage. Definitely one of my favorite looks for this this helmet. Uh, there's other ones for it, but I'm not the biggest fan of them. Uh, specifically, the one that's like the Siva one, I think. And it's not even like crazy Siva. I think it's the Siva one. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, this, that's what we're working with today. For the arms, we have the Lycan Gauntlets, which I really do like because of the fur. I will say the spikes here don't really help it a lot for this particular look, but I can kind of ignore it just because of the fur look combination looks really cool. Uh, for the chest piece, Meridian Constellation is what we're using. Definitely one of my favorite chest pieces from this season because of the fur. We need more fur in this game. For the boots, we have the Nemean Greaves. Uh, Definitely one of my favorite boots for the Titans. Definitely super cool. The only thing that pisses me off a little is this, this right here. The color choices for this one is just odd as fuck. And last but not least, we have the Sunstead Mark, which is definitely one of my favorite marks as well, which is why I have it. The un, uh, unglowed one, or not the one that's not glowing. That's the one I like because the glowed one is just it's a, bit, a little too much from for me. Now. Some of some of the some of you, some of you guys that watch actually watch my content will notice that I'm using a lot of st borrowed stuff from like older combinations, I guess you would say, because I have used this and I think no, yeah, it was for my Halloween stuff. Instead of these arms, it was actually where are you? It was this one right here, and then for this one, I think it was this one right here. So this is actually an old set that I made for the Halloween event, and. It's definitely like one of my favorites. The helmet was actually uh, the the Minotaur helmet, and definitely one of my favorite sets. It still is one of my favorite sets, if I'm being quite honest. This was the shader that I was using. Um, so I do apologize if you guys see like patterns. It's just it's so hard to make like sets with a season this long. Like you're eventually gonna start seeing a lot of repetition. I just noticed the the asymmetry here oh my god I'm, i never noticed that 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 might piss me off a little uh so yeah i do apologize Titans. let me know what you guys think in the comments below i do think the helmet is a little or the everything like like neck down is too bougie for the helmet but like <laughs> when i was done with the set, i was like i i love it but the helmet does not match so i do understand that actually what about if i just that actually does look better. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one actually, just because it does look better. Um, yeah, this looks way better. Let me know what you guys think, Titans. Let me know what you guys think, and let's go on to the Warlock. And last but not least, we got my Warlock. Unfortunately, we ended up getting Apothesis Veil again. I make it no secret that I fucking hate this helmet. It's a shitty looking helmet since D1. And it's shitty in D2. Like, it's like the exotics crap. The look is god awful. Oh, so much hate for this fucking helmet. So let's just get right into it. Obviously, we're using this shitty helmet. Uh, it's a Bro, I I literally, the first shader I went with was Boreal Char. And I was like, dude, this, this, this shader makes it look so cool. And then looked up my videos just to make sure I wasn't using the same shader. God damn it, wouldn't you fucking believe it? Same shader. Unfortunately, I can't use that one, but I do think this one looks cool because uh, the green here is enough that I'm like, there's the green, here's green, shut the fuck up. And then gold here, gold here, I thought it was really cool. 
so the arms, I'm using very basic arms. I've used these way, way too much. But honestly, uh, the Contender gloves is like literally one of my favorite gloves for my Warlock. Uh, especially when I just do not care about like, I, I, I'm i sorry, Warlocks. This is just, I was, so let's let's talk about my, my uh, why I'm, I'm wearing the pieces I, I am. I was going to go with an all out uh d1 warlock i was like fuck it if you're just gonna give me this shit i'll just go with a d1 warlock but unfortunately i don't have actually i do but i don't want to waste it i would have done something like this because it's tangled web gloves maybe like something else for the arm but for the boots this one was pretty rough uh i do like this one a lot but i'm not gonna lie like on it honestly i would have gone with like very like basically all warlock stuff but i just don't feel like wasting a synth weave bolt because i only have two left um i think i only have two left well i have one yeah i think i only have two left i have one bounty that i haven't completed yet i didn't want to waste it on something that i don't even fucking like i do like this one i actually love this one a lot and then the arms are pretty cool too but it's just that I don't know if I love them enough to like act. I do actually. I know I like this one that much, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, chest piece. I'm using the Prodigal robes. This is obviously D1, like heavy D1. So that's why I chose that one. For the boots, I feel like this would be something I would be rocking in D1, which is why I wore it. And for the uh, bond, it's the Vernal Growth Bond. This is from an event that's not even active anymore. So. You you can't even get that but that's pretty much it i'm sorry warlocks i just really fucking hate apothesis veil like with a passion it's the fact that like no shader really looks good with it because the fucking this crystal dome thing here is just so horrid i hate it it's the, the color is cool actually i love the color it's just that good luck trying to find a shader that actually goes with it uh Aside from fucking, you know, Boreal Char, which I think looks really dope, but I already used that. So hopefully next week he doesn't give me a shitty exotic. Uh, but other than that, like, my Hunter looked cool. Uh, my Titan looked pretty cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's it, guys. Uh, that's it for this week's uh, Zer's Exotic Challenge. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this these videos. I do enjoy them. They're a bit annoying to make. But at the end of the day, I think I, I enjoy them enough that I will still do them even if they are annoying to make. Because they're just a lot of fun. Not only that, I could double dip on content because I can just put it on my Instagram as well, which is what I've been doing. So if you guys are not following me on my Instagram, you should because I post a lot of fashion shit. Like a lot of fashion stuff. Like, like a ridiculous amount, let's just say that. So be safe, guys, and I'll see you guys later.